so much is going to go on tomorrow um, with the inauguration, of course. Um, Michael Moore seems to be hinting at something else that's going to happen, but we don't know what that's going to be. Um, it's going to be, a, you know, a changing day in history, of course, as the past few weeks have and the past few years have since Donald Trump was president of the United States. Um, even though I supported Donald Trump and, and I supported him as president for the last four years, um, you know, he can come back again and I hope he does come back. I know he's been banned from social media. It's been over a week since that happened. Um, you know, a lot's still changing. A lot is still changing um, rapidly. But, you know, there's more deaths of the coronavirus now in the US. There's a a lot more in the UK, um, you know, I, there could be some good things that could come about, um, Joe Biden of course, you know, um, with the fact that that he's going to be, you know, he's going to be abolishing the death penalty, hopefully, um, in the next few weeks, uh, once he's president of the United States, and once he's sworn into cabinet of course. Um, and got all his, you know, all his secretaries ready as well. Um, you know, Secretary of Defence, Secretary of Commerce and stuff like that. Um, and other things like that. So, some good will come out of, of Joe Biden, but he may also be used as a puppet as well. And they're always threatening about, you know, there could be possible war. Or there could be a possible uprising as well, um, which would mean the military will have to take over. But we're not sure what's going to happen. We're just going to be careful of what's what is to come and what could happen. Um, because Australia are worried about China at the moment, and I think most of the world's worried about China and what's going on in the Middle East at the moment. So. We have to be cautious and we have to be ready for certain things to escalate as well, which, you know, Americans, some Americans have been talking about for years about a civil war happening again. Um, and also, you know, escalating conflicts um, and what has happened with the coronavirus, of course. Um, the Doomsday Preppers, they've been prepping for all this sort of stuff to happen. Um, it was also, you know, military groups that are against the government, uh, against the US government, and they want to see change as well. Um, they're ready, they're ready to fight. Um, a lot of guerrilla groups, right-wing patriot groups, of course, um, and they are Nazi type groups as well in the United States. They're ready for war. Um, they're ready to attack the government as well because they believe the government has too much power and that Joe Biden is so corrupt and someone else is going to control him as well. But a lot of people are against Trump as well, so we don't know what's going to happen. We're just going to have to watch out.